fun feature, another part of the reason why I like doing this uh, program. Jimmy Fitzgerald and executive chef Scott Matura here from Bob's Steak and Chop House. Uh, it's a new restaurant downtown, new to Austin. Last seven weeks, you were saying, Jimmy? We've been, been open uh, seven weeks now. How's it going? It's been going fantastic. That's we great. are just going into our eighth week this week, and uh, it's been very exciting. The business has been building. It's yeah. a great time of year to open. And you're down at Wellavacan 3rd. Right. So right right in, down in the heart. Right down in the heart of the whole 2nd Street district. Yeah. And uh, it's it's been, uh, the traffic has just been climbing, and the weather has been getting better mm -hmm. and uh, been hard to beat. Right, so it's a great new product for Austin, it looks like. You know, you've got a density population down there. Um, you know, why, why Austin? specifically for this kind of product? Well, you know, for, for starters, the Bob's uh, Steak and Chop House concept is very strong in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Grapevine market. Sure. So we looked at it as a regional brand, not as a national brand. That was the big attraction for us. Okay. And we're developing restaurants in Austin, Houston, and San Antonio. So right down that corridor. Right. Texas so we're, first. We, we really believe Texas first. Yeah. It's a great Texas brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, we think as far as really its fit in the market that it's just perfect for Texas loves great steaks, yeah, right. and 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 our our really it's really simple. Bob's is a very simple concept. It's about great food and great service. Mm -hmm. So what we started with here in Austin was to find a great location, right there at the corner of Third Lavaca. Yeah, awesome. We we it's an old uh, plumbing warehouse. Is actually what it was initially. Right. Yeah. Uh, we converted it into a, a really non-pretentious five-star steakhouse. We have a wonderful roof up on the top. So we have a picture the, of that. I think I'm not sure. I think but we do. We've got uh, so just of some of that location. There it is. There there so you got the nice view of one of those condos there and it looks very chic and uh, modern contemporary relaxing it is Some of the words that come to my mind anyway it, it's comfortable uh, we, we kind of see a casual elegance right about it well let's get know? to the product shall we uh, I mean you can tell us a bit about this uh, I mean I, I can smell kind of the rub coming off what am I it just smells really it's, it's just the meat it's really just the meat and the fat and really? the meat. yeah that's the that's the prime well you've got I mean, tell me about this. Educate me on this, because it's overwhelming to see, you know, this, sure, this sure. much on the sure. table here. Sure. So we are a prime steakhouse, and prime is, uh, you know, two to three percent of the nation's beef gets the, graded the to prime. Top so two very, to very, very small. Wow. Yeah. So, so uh, we cut steaks in house. Um, we cut a lot of ribeyes, and we cut a lot of fillet okay. or, or, or beef tenderloin. So we have a few on display here. So what's this? Um, this is beef tenderloin. Yeah. Um, this accounts for our filet on the menu. Sure. We cut a 9 ounce, a 12 ounce, mm -hmm. and a 16 ounce. Look at that. Um, and that alone accounts for probably a third of our sales of all our steaks. I'll bet. So and then, very, very popular. And then some beautiful uh, marbling on these ones. Exactly. Whole ribeyes here. We cut these as well. We cut a we cut a ribeye from those. And a few other steaks we have up front Absolutely. as well. Um, we have a 18 ounce uh, Kansas City uh, bone in. It's a New York strip. Mm -hmm. um, when it's served with the bone in, uh, it's referred to as Kansas City. Okay. We have a bone-in rib chop, which is a ribeye, like one of these, with the bone left in the bone, just like that. Yeah, yeah. So you can really see again in the marbling. We can't stress enough the marbling. Yeah, of show the, the camera of the, there. Of the, you know, At home, of, you can really see the uh, and, and what the is the marbling. And what's the benefit of the marbling? Is it a taste? Flavor. Or? Yeah. It's flavor. It's moisture and it's flavor, and it's richness. And last but certainly not least, a porterhouse right back here. So 28 ounce porterhouse. Sure, 28 ounces. Yes, very, very popular. And, very popular. And do the sides come separate at, at uh, Well, we at have separate sides, but we also do uh, Bob's signature glazed carrot yep. and uh, a choice of potato. So there's definite added yeah. value there. For Outstanding. Us. I'm so glad you guys came in. Obviously, wine is part of it. Oh, she had more time. Thank you for setting up such a beautiful display. Oh, you're welcome. Our so pleasure. I appreciate it. So again, another uh, option for steak lovers at uh, in Austin, right downtown. It's called it's called Bob's Steak and uh, Chop dot com is the, is the right. best place to get in touch with you guys if you'd like to check that out. Again, right down there in the 300 block of Lavaca.